Hello, welcome back to Hostify. My name's Alex, and today we're looking at the brand new UXG Lite. So I've got the device here, and in this video we're going to get the device unboxed, adopt it to Hostify, as well as go over the specs. And also, we're going to compare it to the old USG 3P. So for those uninitiated, the UXG Lite is now replacing the older USG 3P. And recently, since the UDM line of devices was announced, focus on the older USG Pro 4 and the USG 3P has sort of been reduced. So at the moment, the maximum throughput you can get out of the USG 3P with all of the features enabled is 85 megabits per second. And that includes all the VPN features, the QOS features, the quality of service, all of the IDS IPS features, because the USG 3P does support those, but it really hampers the CPU on the device. This new device is not only more affordable than USG 3P, it also can handle all of the features with one gig per second throughput as well, which is really, really impressive in a device that isn't cooled at all, there's no fans, no nothing opening at all, and then there's such a small form factor and such a good price point. So without further ado, let's see what comes in the box with the new UXG Lite. So this is the brand new UXG Lite, got the brown packaging there. One thing I noticed uh, with all the packaging, it's listed as a UXG. So next gen gateway, the UXG Lite branding has been somewhat removed from some packaging. Uh, we've got a very nice sort of box there, so it's a simple tab to pull. So just pull that open, and it says no knife to use or anything, which is quite nice. And then in the box, we've got a little QR code showing you how to set it up. And then the UXG Lite is inside the box there, wrapped in some plastic. Just blow that as a piece of paper. And then they've got the power supply. So I'm in the UK. I ordered this from the Netherlands, so Ubiquiti's US, uh, so Ubiquiti's EU store, and it came with a EU power supply, which is absolutely fine. I've got an adapter to use it, uh, and it's got a USB-C on there. It's five volts, three amps. So just looking at the device, it's very similar to an Airport Express, as a lot of people are saying. Uh, very small rectangle little device. Just looking at the back of the device, we've got two Ethernet ports. So the one on the right with the globe icon is the WAN port so that connects to your internet connection. LAN port as well, and then USB-C for power, and then a reset button. All of the ports are 1 gigabit, so they're not 2.5 gig, there's no SFP ports or anything. And then just for comparison's sake, I've got a very old uh, Airport Express, so this is Apple's own router from 2012. Um, people on Twitter were saying how similar the two devices look, so this is the devices side by side. Similar sort of situation, got power, two LAN ports, well, one for WAN, one for LAN, and then USB as well for a printer. And then obviously the Airport Express has a 3.5mm jack for audio. And then lastly, the USG 3P and then the UXG Lite next to each other, so you can see much, much smaller footprint. Um, the USG did have some rack accessories from third parties. I do understand that there will be some rack accessories for the UXG Lite as well. However, nothing official has come from Ubiquiti just yet. So we're back at the computer now, and we're now going to look at how to set up the UXG Lite for the very first time and do a run through of the complete GUI. We're also going to adopt it to our Hostify controller and go through that entire process. We're now going to get the UXG Lite plugged into power. It comes with a USB-C power adapter. And you can also use just a standard phone adapter, but do check that the, the amperage is correct for the UXG Lite, because it does require three amps at five volts. Next thing you wanna do is plug in the WAN cable. So this will be to your existing modem, or even temporarily, if you're moving from USG 3P, you can plug the WAN cable into one of the LAN ports on your switch, for example. Next thing you want to do is get a LAN cable plugged directly into the LAN port of the UXG Lite. In my example, I've just got the cable plugged directly into my PC. From there, we can go ahead and check what IP address we've been given from the UXG Lite. So in my example, I'm going to go settings, and then to network, then I can see Ethernet is here. Then I can see I've got 192.168.1.43, and then a router or gateway IP address of 192.168.1.1. So I'm now going to go to a new tab and type in that IP address. So I've typed in the IP address in a new tab on Safari on macOS. You do, you do get uh, certificate warnings. I think you get the same in Chrome as well. You go show details and then visit this website. And you're presented with a very familiar GUI to what you see with the UXG Pro 4. And straight away, the UXG Lite has detected an IP conflict. So what I've actually got this plugged into is my lab network for host of my videos. And that subnet is 192.168.1/24. And the UXG Lite has said that the one IP address is 192.168.1.71. And the local range that it's going to use is going to be 192.168.1.1. So for this example, what I'm going to do is follow the device of the UXG Lite and reconfigure to 192.168.2.1 slash 24. So what it's going to do is 
uh, reboot the device and I'll have to get a new IP address on the device. So we'll come back once that's done. So after about 30 seconds, you can see that we've got a new IP address now 192.168.2.115 and then the UXG light is now 192.168.2.1. So we'll close this again and we'll say got it. And we'll go to the different IP address now. So 192.168.2.1. So you can see here we've got uh, Unify Next Generation Gateway Light Setup, uh, device name, UXG Light, and we're going to go ahead and press Next down here. Next thing the UXG Light is asking us to do is sign over with our Ubiquiti account. Just running through the GUI, there doesn't, doesn't seem to be another option. So if you click on Other Setup Options, it's just for the WAN connections. You've got WAN Static IP Address, WAN PPPoE Connection, WAN DHP Settings, Local Network Configuration, and we can go ahead and Test Connection or Press Cancel. So I'm going to sign over with my Ubiquiti account and see what happens next. So I've signed in and it's now asking me, how will I manage this UXG light? And I can see here, I've got my Hostify controller in the list. It says hosted network application. This is because I've signed into my Ubiquiti account on my Hostify network application and it seems to have picked it up. So we're gonna go ahead and press that. So it says next. It says connecting to the network application. It now says select a site. So it says select a site your UXG light will be linked to. So I can go ahead and choose a site I want to adopt it to. I do know that Unify Complete Setup Site does have my UXG Pro already adopted to it. So I'm going to pick UXG and click on Next. It says connecting to the network application. So it now says you can now manage your UXG light from anywhere. So it says manage from unify.ui.com. So we click on that now. We should have internet access, which we do. We go ahead to our network servers. Got a hostify controller here, so we'll log in and see what the UXG light looks like. And if we click on the top left here, click on UXG, yeah, we're already on the UXG site now, and click on devices, we can now see that the UXG light is there. So we click on this, and over on this side, we've got some options for the ports. Uh, it looks like the software is up to date, version 3.1.15, so it actually came with new software. It didn't look like it updated itself during the adoption process, but that was really easy, so it's really easy to get the UXG light. I would assume that's the same process now for the UXG Pro uh, with the most recent software. But we've got some information here. So we've got Port Manager. So we can go ahead and look at all the new ports. We've got uh, the ISP for Port 2 and then Port 1 as well. That's the uh, my iMac plugged in right now. And I've got all the VLANs information. So it says uh, everything's untagged and everything's tagged. Insights as well. Get back on Devices. So there's some information about the RAM and the CPU levels there. Um, there's no temperature sensor on this device, but the UXG Pro does have a temperature sensor. Uh, it picks up the uh, ISP there and settings. So usual settings stuff here. We've got name of the device, the LED. There's a little LED on the front. We can manually update the software, restart it, remove it from Unify. Uh, we can give it an existing device configuration. Again, same usual stuff as what the U UXG Pro has as well. And then in settings as well, we've got all the features. We've got VPN, we've got WireGuard VPN, Open uh, VPN VPN server. VPN client as well. So in 8.0.7, which is what I'm running on this server here, we now have VPN client as well, and also site to site VPN. So that is how you adopt the brand new UXG Lite to a host file controller. So as you can see, it was a very easy process, a lot easier than when I first did the UXG Pro uh, back in April or May 2022. So that process, you had to use the server IP address, uh, put the username and password in, but as long as your Hostify Power Controller is connected to a Ubiquiti online account, it does look like the process is extremely simple. So that's been a look at the UXG Lite. As you can see, there's a lot of new features with this device when you got it compared to the UXG 3P. And obviously compared to the UXG Pro, we get a little bit less performance from it, uh, but this is a really, really good device, really solid improvement. There are some questions about if there's a device that will come in the middle of the lineup. So uh, looking at some of the packaging, it says next gen gateway. A lot of the FCC filings just say UXG. And then right before the device was launched, uh, it looks like you, you've actually changed the, the product code or the SKU of the device to UXG dash light. So if we look at the bottom of the device, it says uh, just UXG, and then the box as well just says UXG. And on the UXG website, on the store, it says UXG dash light. And then as I said, all the FCC filings refer to it as UXG. So there might be some last minute changes of the product, the product name to sort of fit a new device in the middle. And it will be nice. It's a big gap between the two devices. So the UXG Pro is $500. This is $130. Uh, there's a, there is room in the middle for that sort of device, just like Apple do with the iPad lineup. So thank you for watching this video. My name's Alex. If you want to learn more about Hostify, have a look at Hostify.com. We do hosting for Unify, UISP, and TP-Link Armada. We also do consulting with Hostify Pro. We do anything from helping you manage a WISP to sourcing out your corporate Wi-Fi, for example. So check out the website, hostify.com forward slash pro and get help from an expert today. If you've got any questions about hosting with Unify, UISP, or TP-Link Armada, contact our support team, support at hostify.com, and I'll be happy to help you out. Once again, thank you for watching this video. My name's Alex, and we'll see you again next time.